Yeah, I think my my uh, character versus the character I will be playing is kind of freaking out right now. <laughs> so you guys, uh, you know, you guys show it just it just uh, pure courage, knowing that uh, this may be the end of your life. You go in anyway with swords blazing, uh, going into the screams of the dragon. Uh, you walk into a room that is surprisingly kind of a uh, very very nature like it's full of m towering yellow mushrooms uh, they cover the floor of this vast cave uh, some are re some reach over 10 feet in height the highest one looks like it's about 10 feet uh, they seem to emit a pale light that keeps the room aglow there's shattered remnants of barrels that are torn open with fish and food strewn all over the place. Uh, it appears that the dragon has been feasting over here on the Tamalee's stock. And then f far off in the side of the chamber, you see the dragon stir. Uh, this creature, with his wings tucked tight against this reptilian frame, begins to prowl. It glares at you, knowing that you're there to uh, attack it. It's roughly the size of a deer, and the beast's eyes are sharp and cunning. Its scales are stunning emerald green that kind of glint off the light of the mushrooms. As it sees you, its nostrils immediately flare, and it breathes in, and you see this poison gas spewing from its mouth. Uh, you look at its teeth that are curved and wicked, and they flash at you in a kind of a sneer. It begins to hiss, and a putrid gas starts leaking from its mouth. Uh, Giffen, you win initiative. You have, um, you have surprise attack. So the, get the um, dragon should be flat-footed to me, that's correct? Yes, for this turn. Right. So I'm going to just, uh, I can see him. If I just lean out, can I... Uh, he has cover where he is. Pardon now? He has cover where he is. He has cover? From you, where he is. Big, He's behind a big, mushroom. Big mushroom. Okay, um... He has, I would say, greater cover <laughs> right now from where you are. You're, you're gonna have to uh, consider whether or not you want to keep hiding there. <laughs> well, I don't want to keep hiding here, but I wanted to attack him first if I could. <laughs> now, you are hiding, so if you start moving, you have to roll a sneak against it. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, I think I'll try to do... I think I will try to sneak. Now, understand, if you, uh, if you crit fail the sneak, he's going to see you. If you regular fail the sneak, you're still hidden. Right, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. So, do I just need to roll a... a just, just roll it, just roll it. I mean, do I just need to roll a stealth or... Roll stealth. And uh, and and show me where you want to move. That's a regular fail. But go ahead and move. You're still hidden. You still have sneak attack. Yeah, he must be very perspective then. Okay, then. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to move around this uh, mushroom that's behind Now, you're moving at half speed, remember, because you're sneaking. Right. right. So I'm going to move to here first. And I just still can't see him from there. That kind of sucks. Are you you may redo your move. Obviously, I don't. I'm not gonna lock you there. You may well, think mean, before you move. Okay, then I'm gonna move behind Roland. That's my second move, and then I can you, see him. So you can get in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stay, kind of stay hidden so I can get. I'll, I'll be generous. I'm gonna give him light cover from there. <laughs> 
It's a, it's a light cover is only a plus one. So he's still flat footed, right? He's still flat footed. All right, well, I'm going to take a shot at him now. Go ahead. Good luck. You miss. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, uh, for now, I'm going to, since I'm, I'm going to go up against the back of this ball. Sure, I'll let, you can, you can, you can stay there. Okay. I guess that's uh, my last action. So. That is your last action. Dragon's up. Dragon lies over here. 50, he is 15 feet in the air. Oh boy. Blue. Ooh. Dragon's going to do his dragon breath. The dragon breath is a 30 foot cone. Mariseal, you're so lucky. <laughs> Mariseal, you lucky dog. <sighs> um, we have three fails and a crit, uh, three crit, uh, crit fails and a fail. Does anybody want to use their hero point? Yes. yes. Does everybody want to use their hero point? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll just re-roll re this whole thing again. Not that much better. We have two crit fails, a success from Valeros. How the fuck? Oh. Yeah, I think we're all dead. <laughs> all right. You ready for this? A cloud of poison just flies through, immediately Gosh. dropping Roland and Beetle and Dragami. I think he might have. Uh, I think Dragami took. My poison resistance wasn't gonna help. <laughs> what poison resistance? Uh, I'm... I wanna... that, that's the class fee I took. Oh, did you have it on you? How much poison resistance do you have? One. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, uh, there goes the healer. There goes the game. Uh, so when you guys uh, get knocked out, what happens is your initiative goes one above the enemy that knocked you out. And also because the people who crit failed, who crit failed? Uh, that's Roland and Beetle. You guys are at two dying. Been nice knowing you guys. <laughs> Valeros, you weathered you weathered that. Oh. So we tried to spread out a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to adjust the dragon's initiative so he, you guys go right before him. Just slightly adjust it. There we go. Mercio, what you got? What's my view of the dragon from where I'm standing? You can see it clearly. Uh, all right, like no cover and well, it's up in the air now. Anyway, it's it's flying. You can see it just uh, spreads out its wings, a good like a massive ten foot wingspan. There's just poison just dripping out of its mouth. Now, if I tried to shoot it with my short bow, would I be able to do sneak attack damage or no? No, because it beat you in initiative. You can try to hide from it, but this thing is a uh, this thing is a mythical beast. It's got high perception. I found that out. <laughs> All right. Well, I think what I want to do is how many actions would it take me to hide where I am? 
Uh, you have to move somewhere that breaks breaks line of sight, and then and then roll a hide, which is two actions. Alright, it's two actions to hide, and then alright. Um, uh, hmm. Let me do this. Just shoot it, man. You have two allies that are down and maybe dying, yeah. maybe dead next turn. <laughs> it's I mean, up to you. Yeah. Screw it! I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the dragon. Go ahead. With my short bow. Hopefully, I'll do something with that. So that's my first action. Nice. Oh, it's a hit. You got it. Minimal damage, but <laughs> you 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 ding an arrow through one of its wings. It's slightly annoyed. <laughs> Only seventy-one more hit points to go, guys. Second attack. Misses. Alright. And then... You know what? I'm just gonna move over to here, and then I'm gonna end my turn. Valeros? Now, is it an action for me to go to my short bow? It will, uh, the issue is you have a sword and a shield. So in order to get out your sword right. short bow, you have to take an action to put away your shield. And then you can use a second action to do a weapon swap, which will get can you, you drop out. It? Uh, it doesn't matter if it's you drop it. Action. Dropping is a free action. For yeah, but order. in order to bring out the short bow, you still have to use an action. So it doesn't make a difference. Okay. Uh, you can't. You cannot drop then, a shield. That's the rule. You cannot just drop a shield. Died. It's it's a uh, all shields are like strapped to your arm or whatever. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use one action to move. Three, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's not twenty-five. What's Hold on. That? That's a lot more than... Hold on, let me put token lock on. Oh, where were you before? Here? I, I was right here. Okay, I'm going to put... Diagonals in this one. Diagonals count okay. differently. First diagonal is 5, second diagonal is 10, third diagonal is 5, and so on. So you can't do diagonal runs for extra speed. Well, I can move here. At, that, that will be 25 then. Where are you five, moving? 15... Well, well, go ahead and move your token. We'll see. Because when I have token lock on, it measures the distance. Yeah, move it like one square at a time. Move it, yeah, move it one square at a time and show me how you're moving. Okay. I'll use sudden charge. And then I can move here with sudden charge. You don't need to use sudden because two. the problem with sudden charge is you have nothing to attack when you get over there. So you're going to use two movements or any way to move over there. So it doesn't apply. But it, uh, would you like to move there? Yeah. There you go. That gives me uh, great cover. Would that be greater cover? Oh, yeah, that is definitely greater cover, right, from where you are. Drag well, actually, the dragon technically can see you uh, from, from because he's in the air, but the mushroom's giving you greater cover. I'll give you that, no problem. Your third action. Um, I'm going to raise my shield. <laughs> not a bad, uh, not a bad choice. Now, do I gotta click on the modifier for greater cover? No, no, no. I'll, I'll you can. It'll, be, but the thing is, it only applies situationally. So, I usually don't so have that. Do yeah, yeah. I usually don't put that effect up because it's so situational. For instance, the dragon can fly right behind you, <laughs> which it looks like it's gonna do. Uh, Giffen, you're up. 
combat medicine on uh, Roland? Uh, you have to be adjacent to him. It don't say that in the combat mission description, though. How how would combat medicine work from ten feet away? Well, I, they don't really give a. a you take a bandage and throw it at at his body. <laughs> no, you have to be next to him. You, you have you have to be able to to touch him, obviously. Is that a feat? Yes. Yeah, it's a feat. Unless you you can explain to me how that works from a range. I throw some. <laughs> some the, you throw some healing herbs at his body. All right, you walk. I do have assurance, so it, it automatically... No, it seems. doesn't, because your assurance does not add your ability bonus. So your assurance is only your proficiency. Your assurance is only your proficiency bonus. Therefore, if you use assurance, you're going to roll a 13. In the skill. It's the proficiency in the skill, isn't it? Read it. Not my, not my proficiency. No, no, no. Re read the assurance. Read the assurance feat. I I'll bring it up so you everybody understands, because I made the same mistake. Use a skill you're trained in. You can go forego rolling a skill check for that skill to instead receive a result of 10 plus your proficiency bonus. Only your proficiency bonus. So your proficiency bonus right now at level 2 is uh, plus 4. So if you used assurance right now, you would roll a 14, which would fail. No, I read that wrong. Ne so when you level so up, your that. assurance will work. When you level, when you go to level five, your assurance will work. But at level four, yeah, it's not going to work. Take it until then. <laughs> I would have realized that. Yeah, it's a mistake I made too. That's why I'm bringing it up. So give me a medicine roll. You might crit. You know that'll be helpful. No, 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 not a heal roll. <laughs> you got to roll medicine first to make sure you do indeed heal him. My, uh... No, what are you rolling? <laughs> you just damaged him. Well, I'm hitting the... Oh, wait a minute. I'm, well, I'm doing, I'm I'm doing all the sheet. Uh, go to your skills, go to medicine, and then roll the medicine. That's a success. So now you can you, uh, roll a he uh, 2d8 heal on him. There you go. It's okay. It's just, it's okay. Doesn't matter what happens here. We're still playing. Not the end of the, not the end of the game. Uh, excellent. You bring the healer back. And so I'm going to go back to here for that, uh, my third uh, move since I had to move the first time to get up close to him. There you go. One, two, yeah, you have enough speed for that. Uh, that's it. Uh, Beetle, I need a I need a recovery save. Uh, your DC is twelve. Flat check DC twelve. Cause you crit failed the. Oh my God. Beetle, I'm sorry you died. Your adventure ends here. Wait a minute, did he crit fail? Yeah. Cause he had two dying, and if the DC is twelve, a three is not a crit fail. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a three. No, you're dying three. You're okay. <laughs> oh my god. Roland, you're up. Alright, I know what I need to do. Run? <laughs> well, heal. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I, I didn't scare you, did I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Roland. Uh, you're having a blast tonight, John. <laughs> I haven't heard you like this. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see. Target one living creature. 1d8 plus 8. So I can bring you back, uh, Beetle, with that. I should be able to help you with that. Um, I'm trying to think if anyone else needs help. Everybody needs help. Don't worry about Kagami. <laughs> well, I can move, for example, uh, 30 feet, I think it is. Let me see. Um, is How many hit points does Dr Dragami have max? Uh, Dragami has... I think it's 18, right? Yeah. Alright, so he's not insta-killed. I will allow him to also roll death saves like you. Valeros and Beetle, give me your opinion on this. I can do a... I can do a 1d10 plus 8 on one person. Or... Or I can do, uh, 30 feet, uh, radius 
Everyone in 30 feet foot radius. The dragon likes that. Um, he's looking at you. He's like, yeah, do that. He's got one point gone. It's not going to make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, and, but I'll, I'll do a D10 for all three of you. What do you, what do you want me to do? I can give the D10 D plus eight to, to one of you specifically, but it's your call. What do you mean? It's your call. You're the, you're the one casting the spell. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I just woke up. <laughs> so then I'll, what I'll do is I'll turn off all down. I'll give it to you, Beetle. Um, Let's see, where is that? 1d10 plus 8, that's two actions. How much points was that? Fuck. Okay, a two. Not awful, I guess. Kind of. And then, I can move. So, is... How tall is the ceiling in here? Uh, it's about 25 feet. Okay. If I get under a mushroom, is that breath effect gonna hit me from that... Well, I'm assuming it might have to recharge. Yeah, it depends on the angle. You know, we'll, we'll just make a call when it, 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 if it happens. Well, I could go... Is that... Fuck, I don't want to bunch up. That's the only thing. I'm going to go here. Excellent. Oh, you got to be in the square, so I'll put you here. Dragons up. Uh, the dragon saw you trying to sneak a, sneak behind it, Valeros. He comes right behind you, lands next to you. Uh, Valeros, the dragon is doing a move action through your space. Would you like to do an uh, opportunity attack? Yes, please. Go ahead. Um, that's not gonna, that's not gonna do. <laughs> the dragon gets behind you. Clearly it sees that you're probably the most, uh, the strongest warrior here. And it's gonna target you first. The dragon uses an ability called Draconic Frenzy. Which means the dragon gets two, two claw strikes and one tail strike against you for two actions. Claw strike. Missy, missy. He missed. Multi attack, second claw strike. Missy, missy. Nope, gotcha. Oh. And third multi attack penalty, tail strike. He critically misses. Okay. Mercil, you're up. All right. So. Uh, I'm going to. Let's see. I'm going to move. Let's see if I go back over to here. All right. I can see the dragon, right? I don't know if Valeros is giving him cover or not. No, no, I'm not. Valeros is not big enough to give him cover. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to do what I hope that I say, that I kind of say I do best and shoot him with my short bow. All right. Not with that, bro. All right. Second roll. Oh, we have a critical hit. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations right. for that Hail Mary. All right. So too bad, too bad you don't have sneak attack. <laughs> no. However, now does does is fantasy grounds going to it, It'll automatically do it. It'll it'll do the crit damage. Oh, uh you have to roll it twice. It's a fantasy grass says hit. Just roll it twice. It's the first one. And the second. All right. Um, you you land a good shot into that dragon's arm. Uh, the dragon 
um, stops paying attention to Valeros and stares at you. Alright, and I think that's all my actions for this turn, so I gotta end it. Valeros, you're up, head to head with this dragon. Okay. You also look up and there's a big pile of treasure. Because dragons, that's what they like to do. Uh, Alright, well, I'm just going to attack. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Hey, John, so that runic weapon, then, does that... Yes, it does. It... Okay. Too bad you don't have it on oh. fire. I know. Wow. That's a good hit. And then yeah, I'll use my second for another crit. Oh, okay. And then I'll use my second one. Uh, not quite. Okay. And I will move. To there. Uh, one second. As you move, you get opportunity attack by the dragon. Luckily, the dragon gets a minus two to his attack when he does it as an opportunity attack. So a reaction, I'll use my shield. Shield block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll damage on you and then we subtract five. I think this will destroy your shield as well. Okay, your shield is broken, but uh, subtract five. Uh, subtract five. Uh, five from that. Twenty-one. Mine. Holy, you're already. You're down with that. Hold on. How many? Do you remember how many hit points you had? Do you remember how many hit points you had before? You had 12. Oh, no. Even with the shield, that's going to bring you down. Sorry. Are you sure you, you were at 12 hit points? Yeah. All right. Um, Dragon takes you down with one hit. Now it's I and Mariseal. Giffen, you're up. Yeah, I'm going to um, use Battle Medicine and one. Beetle up. Beetle's up. Oh, okay. Well, then, never mind. I don't need to use that battle mess I don't think I can get to Valeros. Oh, I can't get to Valeros. I can. I'll just run up here behind Valeros and do battle mess on him. Hold on. Um, you have to you have to walk around that wall. You can't walk through the wall. So let me do a measurement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... 35, 40, 45. Okay, yeah, 45 feet of movement, so it's two moves. Okay. You can stand under the mushroom, no problem. All right, okay, and I'll go ahead and try battle medicine on him. That's a failure. Did you use your hero point already? No, let me use it. I'll go ahead and use my <laughs> It's a good, a good time to use a hero point. That's a critical success. You double your healing. So we'll do it automatically. We'll find out. Again. If not, then just roll it twice. <laughs> that because you use battle medicine, that takes away his wounds. Beetle, you still have those wounds because you got healed by magic, not battle medicine. However, if you heal the foal, then you uh, your wounds uh, go away. Beetle, you're prone, so you gotta you you gotta get up before before you move or anything. Okay. Uh, I am going to. 
heal my snow leopard. Real quick. With, uh, heal animal. And then I will get up and move. So is that half movement? Uh, uh, getting up is one action. Moving is a second action. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I guess I will <laughs> just stand up then. Okay, so then you still have a third action. No, I healed Drugami. That took two actions. Oh, that's a two-action spell. All right. Wait, I healed him. Roland, you're up. Okay. Roland, you also have zero wounds because you were healed with battle medicine. I have zero wounds? Yeah, because uh, if you get healed with battle medicine, okay. it treats your wounds. But if you get healed with magic, you have to heal him up to full or else he still has wounds. So how much HP do you have right now, Valeros? Um, 14. Out of 36? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Heal with the foot. That's 30 foot. So. I'm gonna move here. Actually, hold on. Hold on. That's what? 10 feet? Uh, it's actually 5 feet. 5 feet? Okay. Yeah. So 5, 10, 15. Um, and I'm gonna hide under the mushroom. Over, well, not actually take the hide, but get cover right here. Um, and then my bless should go back onto Valeros. I'll take it off of everyone else, but let me add that back on onto Valeros. It's also on Giffen. Yeah. I'll, 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 did I take it off of him? I don't know. Let or me I see. Might have, no, he, he still has it on. That's good. Bless on. Arrows. There we go. And I'll take it off of everyone else when I'm done. But um, and then healing you, Valeros. Okay. And that is my turn. The dragon, uh, since Valeros is healed back up to full, he's going to unleash everything on Valeros. Uh, he is going to do a Draconic Frenzy. That gives him three attacks. Unfortunately, Valeros, your shield was broken. <laughs> right. Oh, gosh. As the dragon critically hits you, you see his eyes glow and his breath recharges. Second attack. Guys. I'm dead. Oh, you're dead. Then he can't do his second attack. You just deprived him of an attack. However, he can still do his third attack, which is the tail swipe at Giffen. Uh, he misses on his third attack. The dragon is going to take flight, then out of his breath is recharged. So I'm going to, he goes up 15 feet in the air and just kind of uh, stays there looking over you to see who dares go near it. Mercil, you're up. All right. Now, would I be able to get a shot of this dragon now that he's 15 feet in the air with my short bow? Sure. Okay. Attack him. That's a but, ooh, that's bad. Second attack. Another crit miss. Jeez. <laughs> and, that's what you get for getting all them criticals before. <laughs> and then first deal will just be like, screw this. I'm too frustrated for this. I'm going to go hide in here. And then that'll be the end of my turn. Uh, Valero, it's not actually your turn. Your turn goes before the dragon. Uh, Mare Seal. 
You're, uh, you're, yeah, you just went and Giffen, you're up. Okay, um, well, I can't do battle medicine. No, unfortunately, battle medicine yeah. only works once per day, uh, per day. Once per... I can heal him, don't, don't worry about that. Okay, so, um, actually, I might as well go ahead and take a shot at the dragon from here. From my yeah, we need to start doing some damage. I don't have much hope, but... <laughs> there we go. Whoa! Yeah, Look at all these crits you guys are landing on this dragon! Okay. Respectable. Giffen, you definitely have this dragon's attention. Okay, so I am going to um... move move away from everyone. If you... <laughs> with that breath weapon. Yeah, the dragon's televising that his breath weapon has recharged. You can't. Uh, that there's a there's a ledge up there, so you have you you can't oh. go all the way. That's his that's his treasure hoard. How are you gonna? You can't go. You have to do climb action well, to do, get up there. I do think that would get his attention if someone went up there. <laughs> Okay, I, what I want to do, if you see there, it was, uh, as my second action, go under this, uh, mushroom here, and, uh, try to hide, although, that's probably not, take cover. Okay, take cover will take... work. That will, uh, that'll so give you greater cover. huge, yeah. Okay, that's my turn, man. Alright. Beetle, finally you get to go. Um, uh, my question... I, I, I forgot. Did we say it was immune to fire or whatever, or resistant to fire? It has resistance three resistance fire. fire. But we could have we could have failed that, so we don't know if it's actually resistant. It could be true or it could be false. Remember? Okay. Right. Might as well find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, in game we believe it is. So. Well, whichever character rolled that believes it is. I mean, we, I never thought we'd get the dragon all the way to heavy. <laughs> Heavily damaged, that's crazy. Uh, I'm trying to find a spot where I can reach him. This is why I offered to for you to fight the elite dragon. Yeah. Right, gonna, I'm going to move. One. Right. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Um, I thought that was close enough. Can I get one a little bit more? Alright. Uh, and I will try to do produce flame on the creature. Okay. While it's up in here. Anthemis. That used up all my wonderful actions. Alright. Roland, you're up. John, I got a question for you. What happens if a if okay if I and but let me finish the whole train of thought before you guys freak out. If I do damage to Valeros as he's already down, what what does that do? That increases his dying value. Okay, because I have risky surgery, and it says I can deal. I do, I do a 1d8 for slashing damage, however, it gives me a plus 2 circumstance to uh, medicine check for treat wounds, and if I roll a success, it's a critical success instead. That's true. However, if you, uh, inc uh, if you do slashing damage, you can't crit the slashing damage, so yeah, so you'll give Valeros one point of dying to give that plus 2 to, to, to uh, circumstance bonus. I'm not familiar with the sure it'll work so when you okay. do damage to Valeros while he's already unconscious at zero hit points he goes up one dying value right now he got taken down by a critical hit so he's dying two you would make him dying three that's not dead dying four is dead okay 
So, so you wouldn't make him dying three to do the risky surgery. It's really risky. So it so let me tell you what can happen. If you do if you do risky surgery and you and you bring him down to dying three and then you crit fail your medicine check, you kill him. Okay. However, if you don't crit fail and you crit succeed, you give him double the double the healing so that's why it's risky but i i don't I, i'm not sure i'm not sure you can do a heal on him because he's already been battle medicined so you he can't benefit from battle medicine again it's not battle medicine from what i thought though uh well hold on let me it's just treat wounds yeah treat wounds and battle medicine are the same thing You can't do battle medicine on somebody um, after they've had it already. Okay. Oh. But that's a good thought, and that's a risky move. So, I'm just going to heal you. Which was still really good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what I'm going to do is... Five, ten. Well, hold on. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And yep, I'm good. All right, Valeros, you got yourself another turn, another chance. Oh, you do have to get up. You're prone. Yeah, you're you're. Pro I'm gonna use an action. Action to get up. And then I'm going to swing my smoking sword. And now is it an action to stoke it? Yes. You can light it and swing it. So, okay, I'm gonna light. I'm gonna light it. Uh, I'll, I'm sorry, Valeros. He's 15 feet in the air. You can't. You can't reach him. He oh. flew up at the end of his turn because he's pre preparing okay. to breath breath down. Okay. Jump and attack. <laughs> How? Yeah. How well. Oof. I don't think I can 15 feet. Can you? And I have to have empty hands to climb. Uh, well, you have one weapon, right? No shield. Can you climb with one weapon? Got to have two free hands. Uh, you have. He has to stow his weapon and then use his action to climb. The, the best he can do with the climb is 10 feet. And even on top of that mushroom. He's not going to be able to reach the dragon. Dragon's no moron. <laughs> You're not going to fly somewhere where you can reach him. Can he jump vertically? No. Not 15 feet. Well, 10 feet, but then Why don't... a stretch of your arms, too. No, you can't reach him. Valeros, I think the best thing for you would be to either uh, move on the other side of the mushroom and hide, or... Hold your act attack of opportunity. Risky. Oh, he's 15 no feet opportunity oh, he's, attack. He's 15 feet above you. No opportunity. Right. No, he's he's 15 feet away from you. He's height. Yeah, but he uses his breath weapon. Uh, I he can I don't use know. that as an attack of opportunity. That'd be kind of a waste. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, uh, no creature has a breath weapon as an attack of opportunity. Attack of opportunities are, mo are, are usually strikes. So I have two actions, correct? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, I'd move. So then if <laughs> I moved over... His attack of opportunity does have a 10-foot reach, but... You're out of that 10 foot reach. You can go directly under him and get in that 10 foot reach. Uh, I'm going to move over to here. I have enough movement. I have 50 feet if I do two actions.
I'm not in a full box. I don't think you're allowed to be in that in the wall. <laughs> so this is the farthest you can move. Okay. Hold up. Why are you coming to me? Think about it. Look, look where you're going. <laughs> you're you're bunching us up. Remember how big that breath weapon was? If I go down, there, that there's breath no weapon is thirty feet. You'd have to move first. Yeah. He, he has a flying he, he can. You can definitely do that. Yeah. I I was recommending you you should and this is totally up to you, but if you went. Like, uh, I'm just gonna show you, like, right there, under the mushroom, that'd probably be the safest. It splits us up. Okay, I'm good with that. If John don't mind. I don't mind. And that gives me, um, greater... No, he's in the air, so I get lesser cover. Yeah, against him... At this time, you probably would have cover, but he's going to move. Okay. Where is he going to move? Come at me. But well, since I only moved 15 feet, I got one more action, right? Oh, yeah, go ahead. So, um, not like I can do much, but... Demoralize it. Intimidate it. Yeah. You, you can try. <laughs> try. You, you can always try. Okay, that will be under activities. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Roll your intimidation. Okay. Uh, that's a crit fail. <laughs> that makes sense against Greg. <laughs> I'll just stand where I'm at. I'm good. It is there's no penalty for crit failing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. There we go. Oh boy. Again? No fucking way. Oh, all three of them. What do you mean all three of them? I've crit failed every single uh. one. <laughs> That's because your reflex probably not that high. Definitely not. You already used your hero point, didn't you? Yep. Both of you go down. Mayor Seal. So I've got a two in my dying. Uh, you were already dying. How how much dying were you before? <laughs> you had two. Um, before two. Now you're dying three. And Roland is dying too. Okay. Got it. All right. So it's my turn. I'm gonna just step over here. So I can get a good clean. I don't have to wait till my token moves. There we go. I think I can get a good clean view of the dragon from there. All right? Yeah. Was he was he hidden from moving out back in from where he was? Just being there doesn't make him hidden. Okay. All right. Does he have cover? He has no cover here. He's in the air. All right. Well, I have him targeted. I'm going to shoot him with my short bow. Uh, it's a miss. A 23, wow. It's a dragon. We respect dragons oh, at my no. table. We respect I, dragons I, at my uh, table. St. No 5e dragon, where uh, I remember he got, he got one-shotted in our uh, campaign. That little wormling that we fought in the Sunless wow. Citadel. One-shotted by the paladin who juiced up a smite. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to shoot him again. And I 
Oh, and crit. And then I'll end my turn, basically distract the dragon so that whoever else is in there that's alive can attack him. Well, the dragon doesn't seem to think you're a threat right now. He's attacking the others. You gotta do more damage to get the dragon's attention. Uh, Giffen, it's your turn. Striking with my halfling staff. It's a mess. Uh, yeah, so remember I told you his armor class was 18. Now you know that's right. a lie. Second shot. Around to behind, just behind the uh, stem of the mushroom. Sure. I get get a little more cover. Any in my cover. Beetle, you're up. Uh, Beetle is going to cast heal on Roland, so he can hopefully heal <laughs> Blaris. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Like big time wrestling, we got all these heels. <laughs> all right, and then I am going to run away. And let's go uh, into here, 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 and here. And then that will be the end of Beetle's turn. Roland. You okay. can't spare the actions to tell your animal to do anything. <laughs> I what? <laughs> no, I'm talking to Beetle. He, he can't. Spare he, he can't spare any actions. Gonna heal him. Well, actually, hold on. I will, but. Here's what I'm wondering. Roland, how many heal spells? You have one heal spell left. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do the safe thing here and you get that off. Where the fuck? There we go. You're also targeting yourself. Oh, I'll take the 16 away from me. My bad. What? Uh, combat. I got it. I got it. Thank you. That's one action, uh, two actions for the heal. single actions but what was the uh you can you can try to demoralize the dragon yeah i was trying to figure out what that <laughs> that's intimidation technically i have to charge you a negative four because the dragon doesn't speak common but you can go ahead he's learned common since uh since then is there a just oh, just roll intimidation yeah. i'll tell you if you uh your success Oh, yeah, you can do that, too. Nope. Okay. <laughs> nope, nothing. Valeros, you're up again. Unfo uh, Valeros, you uh, you have, uh, th I think, you're, do uh, you're wounded three right now. So watch out. You wounded go three? Yeah, I think, I think you're wounded three, if, unless I'm wrong. I don't know. It had zero. No, nothing in the Yeah, I know. You're supposed to fill that yourself. So you you were wounded two, and then you went down. So that put, makes you that makes you uh, wounded three. You go down one more time. It's it's uh it's uh lights out. I mean, like lights out to your uh to your existence. <laughs> right. So uh, how many actions does it to get my short bow? 
Pal, just use it. Uh, you can use one action to do a swap. Now that you don't have a shield anymore. And I won't, I won't penalize you with cover or anything from that tree. That's not fair. That mushroom's too low. He's 15 feet in the air. So you get a clear shot. Okay. Grit, grit, grit. <laughs> well, it's a hit. It's good. Yeah. Nice. But you pretty much have to score nat 20 to crit him. Wait a second, how come you roll two, uh, 2d6? Uh, it probably took the runic weapon, that's why. Oh, you don't have runic weapon with the bow. I will oh, give yeah. the dragon one hit point back. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be turned off. Yeah. No, I, that's fine. I, I'll, uh, you're, you're good, don't worry about it. Okay, the, so the dragon has a lot of options. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, clockwise, going from Roland, I'm going to roll a d6. I have one more action. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep uh, Take your last action. Yeah, he does. He does. I'm, that. I'm going to move to here for greater cover. So, the dragon uh, now, right now, is not seeing any of you as the uh, particularly worst threat, so he's got some options. I'm going to roll a d6, going clockwise from Roland. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Merciel. Dragon, the dragon likes you. He's going to come down and say hello. Uh, he, he, uses, he uses one action to land, land right next to you. Uh, he uses two actions for a Draconic Frenzy, hoping to crit, crit you and get his breath back. First attack, right. jo uh, Claws. No crit. Somehow met. Oh. Yeah. Second attack, multi-attack penalty, Claws. Uh, he hits you twice, but no crit. That takes you down, and he's not- he doesn't attack your dead body, because he's a young dragon, doesn't understand that he- uh, that you're not dead. So, Mericeal, your initiative changes to be just before the dragon. Okay. Uh, let me do 23.5. Does Mirror Seal still count as, uh, blinking? <laughs> no, he has to be able to attack. <laughs> Giffen, you're up. Oh, okay, um... So, can I just reach around instead of taking action to move? And attack? Lean out and reach around and attack? Uh, I have to go by the cover that you ha- that he has if you st in if you attack from that spot. That that will afford him no cover. Try to get him again. Oh. Not just a miss. You're not gonna hit him unless you get that AC down. Unless or or you or you get super super lucky. I mean you can always anybody can roll a twenty and hit him. Alright. John, are we able to use the items in the party sheet at oh. all during this? Um, in this case, I will say yes. You can. You can say I had that in my inventory. Okay. I'll give you every advantage I can. So yes, you can use stuff from the party sheet. You can say, yeah, I took that with me in inventory. Nobody can read it, though. That's great. Well, there's a potion, or sorry, a wand to heal, so I'll, I'll, I can use that to get one more heal off. Yep. And there's six healing potions. So, Dragami is going to. Oh, Dragami steps up. Uh, <laughs> All right. What well, are you? He's gonna be Dragami's here. He's gonna step up next to the creature. 
uh, and is going to attack it with a uh, to be playing now. Oh, or did you say it went back up in the air? No, no, is it? He's down. He can't flank. Well, it should be flanking now. He's down. He, he can't hit. He's so bad. He can't flank. You, you can't flank when you're uh, oh, he's he's unconscious. Right. Yeah, you have to be able to attack. He 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 just barely holds his hand up. <laughs> <laughs> Says help me. <laughs> Ah, dang it. And then I am going to try to produce lame on the dragon from here. All right, I think that's a hand. Can I reach? I actually cannot reach. I did not think that through. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, you, you don't have you don't have the distance for produce flame. Yeah, let me just double check. All right, uh, shoot. No, you you got to get those cantrips with sixty feet. Yep, I know. Ah. Uh, or or you can take uh There's some feats that extend your cantrip range, for like sorcerers. Why not? Let it be funny and the little guy will try to uh, demoralize the dragon. Why not? Go ahead. Uh, intimidation. Probably not. That's a fail. And then I will come over here and hide under this, or behind his mic. And then that will end uh, Beetle's turn. And you got me turn. Roland, uh, you're up. With that, with that wand of heal, I have one more healing charge. So I'm going to. Did, did you have the wand that. of heal in your hand when you started the battle? Ooh. Ooh, say point. yes. Just say yes. Yeah, yeah. I did, okay. I only, yeah. You, you didn't have a yeah. weapon out. You had that wand of heal out. Okay. So I can target Valeros, but let's see. You can't see Mericil, so you have to go and see her before you can target her. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that, but then I'm in the... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how this would work best, you know? Oh. 5, 10, 15, 20. If I go here, I can heal Mericil. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. All right. And Taking a risk, getting it, getting out and open with the dragon. Yeah. But everyone's back up, so. Valeros, you're up. Finally, so you got you guys got the dragon flanked. But it's only flanked okay. to Dragami oh. and Mericeal. Now, yep. If um, I would do sudden charge, can would that get me any position anywhere to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Um, the issue is, is the dragon is blocking you. You know what? If you want to commit to it, I'll let you do it here because you can move through Jugami. Are you committing to it? Yes. Okay, he's going to opportunity attack you when you get here. Mm. Okay. He tail swipes um, you as you're moving through Dragami. But he misses, so you're good. So you get all the way up to here, you can make your attack. Okay. And now he's, he's flanked still. He's not flanked by Valeros. He's only flanked uh, by Mericeal and Dragami. Wow, okay. And I'm unconscious, no. right? No, you, you got healed. No, not, no you're prone, you're not unconscious. I have a dilemma. I have a dilemma. 
<laughs> What's your dilemma? Um, I still have my short bow. Oh, you can make a... Oh, um, I think sudden charge requires a melee weapon. Yeah. So this is what I'll let you do. You can say, for one action, you, you do a weapon swap, and then you do a sudden charge. Technically, okay. sudden charge has the open trait, so you're not supposed to do that, but that's fine. Not, most people don't ignore the open trait anyway. So go ahead and make your attack. Ah, you hit him. We get to do some more damage. Ooh. Okay, that's all three. No. Yep, that would be. Yeah, that's all. No, that's two actions. As you do that, the cavern begins to collapse. Uh, you guys have uh, the dragon has breath uh, done two breaths already cause a lot of kind of violent commotion in the cavern. Everything begins to shake and rocks start falling from the ceiling. Mericil, you're up. All right. So, Roland, I'm applied left to Mericil. He has it. So I'm prone. So if I'm prone, how many actions does it take to get up? One. One. All right. So one. And the dragon has already used his reaction, so he can't opportunity attack you. Where you get up. Can you melee? Alright, so being that I'm in melee range of them, I have quick draw. I'm gonna quick draw my scimitar and attack him with it. Okay, I'll let you do that. That's fine. I'll make him flat footed. So for for the first time you, you got you guys get a flat well this is the second time. I think your first attack was flat footed. Alright, so I'm gonna attack him and First attack, misses, oh. and then one. You don't get a third attack because you had to use two uh, two actions already. Uh, well, I know I used one action to get up, and I had quick draw, so I was able to draw. Oh yeah, I, I yeah I said it's okay to do. Okay, so you can make a second attack with a with a penalty, of course. Yep. Even an eighteen oh, is wow. not going to hit him. No. Will you? Oh, with a plus three, no. <laughs> you need a nat 20. Well, guys, congratulations. Yeah, the dragon is going to run. You have heard it oh, enough. Wow. The dragon is going to use all of his actions to fly away. If it flies, uh, it's got a 120 foot fly speed, so it's definitely going to get out. However, before it flies away, Valeros, you have an opportunity attack as it leaves your range. If you roll okay. high enough, you can actually kill this thing. And if you kill this thing, almost, this uh, some serious bragging rights. Now, can I go? Can I use my sword as stoked or not? No, you have. Yeah, it's a reaction. Okay. okay. This is one. This is one hit for all the money. Oh. oh. Did you use your hero point yet? He did. Yeah. Oh. I'm they sorry. Let me subtract it off my thing, but it's there. Uh, you, you guys. Get zero. All right, that was an amazing job, you guys. You guys beat the elite dragon. Nobody has done that because no DMs run it because DMs are all like, oh, I don't want to kill my players. No, because I knew <laughs> that you guys have the skill to be able to beat this dragon. Unfortunately, you didn't kill the dragon. The dragon, um, at the end, uh, as, as um, Valer Valeros does his last swipe at the dragon, he flies straight up and you realize that the, on the top of this uh, collapsing cavern, as the rocks are falling, the dragon's dodging left and right up the rocks, and he goes up a, a little chimney out of the cavern. Uh, this cavern is about to collapse as the dragon escapes. What do you do? Awesome. Good job. Good job, everybody. <laughs> what about all this loot? Yeah, we get the golden run. All right, go in, grab as much gold as we can carry, and then get out of there. I second that. Agreed. 
So I lied before yeah. when I said there's no benefit to this battle. Um, if you if I I was if you manage to beat the dragon, I will give you a lot of stuff. Where's my? Yeah. Well, uh, most of it, uh, no, no magical items. I'm not allowed to give you that. But. Sure. All these characters will be able to get a lot of stuff, but they'll get crushed by the stones on the way. <laughs> well, that, that's what the rule's about. Oh, man, they don't give me the part. They, they got away my parcel. I'll just give you flat gold then. I'm going to give I'm going to give you 50. Uh, I mean, uh, you grab 50 golds worth of stuff. However, I, I need each of you to roll me a I'm going to set the DC. You're going to all roll a reflex to see if you uh, survive the crushing rocks as you loot the gold. Open or tower? Okay. Open, obvious. It's going to be obvious. You said a reflex. That one! Oh yeah. my god, Beetle! <laughs> you, you, survived the, you survived that fight only to... <laughs> only to get crushed by rocks. Wow. I don't think I've used my hero point yet. Can I use it for this? Uh, if you haven't, of course you can use it for this. All right. So I'll roll again. Nice. All right. So why did they got... What happened to my parcel? I'm very upset. They... they... Let's see if... Dragami lives, though. <laughs> right? What was the DC? Right? me lives and drags you out. No, no, actually, there's, uh, there's, it's safe for half. <laughs> so crit saved, no damage. Uh, successful save, DC was twenty. Successful save is, uh, is half damage. Crit fail is double damage. So what you got. I think some of you are going to unfortunately perish in this cavern anyway. Um, what I've, when we were looting the gold, what I've, I, and I'm asking for the majority of us here, there's six potions of healing. Since we were out of combat, would we each have been able to take one? Go ahead. I took two earlier. But, the, but those are all potions of healing the next party's not going to have. But I didn't get to use them. <laughs> okay, I'll just, I, added, I added 50 gold to the party sheet from all that loot. From the role playing, good the cavern was falling. I don't think we would have time to try to drink potions. Well, I mean, it, 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 no, you, you guys are dodging out. rocks in the middle of this cavern, crashing on you. So yeah, you can drink a potion or two. That's fine. <laughs> uh, it's up to you if you want to suss out who lived and who died. Giffen, uh, Giffen did a nat twenty on that save, so he takes zero damage. Beetle, unfortunately, we're looking at a yeah. th thirty-eight I damage. One, I died. 38 damage here because you had to loot that thing. But you know what? You don't even have to count it. You're, 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 by a big rock. you're making a sacrifice for your new character. I shoved Dragami out of the way. <laughs> your spirit lives on. Giffen survives. Uh, Valeros, uh, you did a regular fail. That's 19 points of damage. You can drink some potions and survive. Mericeal. Um, 11 is not a crit fail. So you do a regular so fail. That's... Oh, oh, oh. Or 27. Oh, 27 uh, is a uh, regular success. So you only take half that damage. So you take uh, 9 points of damage. You could survive that. Uh, Roland, you, uh, you did... The 21 is a success. So you have nine points of damage. Uh, that's something that, with a potion or two, you can survive. Yep, so un unfortunately, um, Beetle's the one who did not survive this. In memoriam. But you guys have uh, attained a massive amount of loot for your next party. So, nice. so you guys... Where is this? Uh, uh, do, do you want somebody? Do you want the narrator to come in? There's a narrator. Huh? For the end of the the uh, campaign, narrator. It's, yeah, uh, the end of it. You return to the surface to tell Tenderly Tendervale of your adventure. Although terrified to learn what danger was Although lurking beneath the cushion, she is relieved to hear, that you, she is relieved to hear that you have put an end to this mess. In the coming days. 
Word spreads in the coming days. Of your word spreads throughout the story of your exploits. Others and not come to you seeking help Others in solving their come own Come to you problems. seeking help in solving it their own your adventures are far from it over. It seems your adventures are but far that from over. Is a tale but that for another day. Is a tale for another day. <laughs> so did that come with yeah, it came with yeah, it, it came with a thing. I thought it was kind of stupid, so I didn't use it. But <laughs> oh. all it does is read the text in the book. Oh. <laughs> so the, in the, in the in the aftermath of this adventure, you guys um uh you guys have helped Tamley Tamerville achieve uh uh you know uh, you helped her with her uh with, with her problem in terms of her having these cobalts raid her cellar for her food but you've also discovered that there's a really horrific beast this dragon that has been living under uh under otari all this time and now it's pissed off and it's released and it's going to be coming back yeah you you know it however your your purpose for coming down here in the first place is that you wanted to join the pathfinders and akari whiskers that uh, the fox man uh once he hears about what you have done he immediately hands you Wayfinders and gives you sponsorship to join the Pathfinders. Uh, once, beca uh, because you just you just joined the Pathfinders, you you are going to Absalom to the Grand Lodge to get initiated. So your uh, your adventures for this party take you elsewhere, and that's uh, that is. The, that is uh, a beetle gets a beetle gets a grave a uh, grave in the graveyard here in Otari. <laughs> That's why the graveyard's oh. there. Oh. Dr Drugami um, managed to drag your body out. 